Coping with COVID is still the top priority for most local governments. As Kega 9 on your side's Craig Smith reports, the topic dominates this week's agenda for the Pima County Supervisors. Just as COVID issues are splitting the public, they're splitting Pima County's Board of Supervisors. Supervisor Steve Christie has been a consistent opponent of mask mandates. He's against a proposal on the agenda to bring back mask mandates indoors for times when you can't stay six feet from others. It's not something that we want as a community. The community is tired of, of having to be uh, mandated with these face masks. Supervisor Christie is skeptical about whether masks offer protection, but District 2 Supervisor Dr. Matt Hines says masks have protected him and other health workers as they treat COVID patients. He says if the county reinstates a mask mandate, it would extend to school districts in Pima County that do not require masks now. So I think it makes a lot of sense to go back to where we were, given the numbers, like the case numbers, the numbers of hospitalizations that we're seeing and the overall increasing the spike, the surge we're in right now. It makes a lot of sense to go back to that policy, which we saw uh, implemented so successfully a few months back. Supervisors are set to consider Hines' proposal to require vaccinations for all health care workers. Vaccine mandates from UMC and TMC have led to protests at those hospitals. Hines says health workers who will not vaccinate to reduce the chance of spreading COVID should not be health workers. Christie says even health workers should have freedom of choice. Supervisors will also consider spending up to $2 million to use this motel as a quarantine shelter for border crossers seeking asylum in the U.S., those who have tested positive for COVID. If approved, the agreement would last up to six months. Christie sees the plan as confirming his concern. Asylum seekers could add to community spread. Hines says it makes sense to have a quarantine location, but asylum seekers are no greater threat than many other groups. Supervisors will also consider a proposal to reduce rental evictions. Now that the eviction moratorium has ended, tenants who are behind on their rent could become homeless. Officials say that could put them in living conditions that could help COVID spread. Supervisors will consider using COVID relief funds to pay landlords up to $5,000 not to remove tenants at risk of eviction. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.